If you have numbness or tingling in one or more of your extremities, you may think that it's just falling asleep. But what happens if that pins and needles feeling lasts for a week or it becomes painful? Neuropathy and sciatica are two different nerve disorders that can cause discomfort and pain. By the end of this video, you'll be able to distinguish between the two so that you can get the help that you need. Hi, my name is Chris Brandt, and I'm a physical therapist at EW Motion Therapy. I've been treating patients since 2015. Today I want to discuss with you what neuropathy is, what sciatica is, how they're similar and different, and what you can do if you have symptoms. Neuropathy is typically presented as pain, weakness, numbness, tingling, that usually presents in the hands or feet. The most common cause of peripheral neuropathy is from impaired circulation. This can be due to diabetes, injury, infection, and exposure to toxins or side effects of medications. Symptoms typically present as numbness or tingling in one or more hands or feet, and it doesn't usually change when you change position. So if you're having neuropathy type symptoms in your feet or in your hands, usually movement is not gonna change what you're feeling at that time. Sciatica is defined as irritation of your sciatic nerve, either from injury, restriction, or compression of that nerve somewhere along its pathway. Your sciatic nerve is a very large nerve that comes out the back of your pelvis and runs down the back of your leg, splitting at many different points all the way down to your toes. The symptoms associated with sciatica are typically shooting pain, some numbness, some tingling, and it typically starts from the back of the hip at the top of the nerve, sometimes in the low back, and will run the length of the nerve down your hamstring and your calf, and sometimes even to the bottom of your feet. The similarities between neuropathy and sciatica are typically in their symptom presentation. So most of the time you're gonna be having pain, numbness, and tingling, and those can be associated with either disorder. Both disorders can also be attributed to impaired circulation. If you have some restriction around the sciatic nerve, you can have some impaired blood circulation, which can cause the same symptoms as if you were having small vessel circulation problems in your hands or your feet, which would be attributed to neuropathy. Now let's talk about differences. The pain that's usually associated with sciatica changes throughout the day. It can be flared up in the morning, but as you move, it may change or it may even go away. With neuropathy, the pain that may be associated with it is usually very consistent and very constant. If you move or change positions, that pain intensity will, may not go up and it may not go down, and the frequency of your pain may stay the exact same the whole day. With neuropathy, you may have sensitivity to touch, which can manifest itself by putting on socks, shoes, or gloves. Sciatica typically presents with pain that starts deep in the hip or in the low back and will travel down the path of the nerve into the hamstring calf and to the bottom of the feet. Sciatica also usually presents itself only on one side of the body, so you're typically not going to have sciatica-like symptoms on your right side and your left side. So what should you do if you present with any of the symptoms that we just talked about? The first thing you should do is go to your doctor and rule out any potential causes of the symptoms that you are having. If the symptoms that you have are leading you to believe that you might have sciatica, gentle stretching with some ice and heat can be beneficial along with a walking program. In some cases, relieving nerve pain can be as simple as movement. Movement helps get blood circulation going, which, like most things in our body, improve circulation, can decrease that sensitivity that you're feeling with that nerve pain. Now you know the difference between common nerve disorders and how you can begin the path to healing. If you decide to go to physical therapy, the physical therapist should be able to determine whether you have neuropathy or sciatica. Click the link in our description below to watch the video, What is Physical Therapy? 
This video will go into more detail about what physical therapy is and how it can benefit you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to help you on your physical therapy and wellness journey.